yeah. Last free bag. Last free bag. Cut good and look good. What's up? It's your girl Cool Jones back live in flesh. And thank you for returning back to my YouTube channel where I teach you how to cook good and look good. Yeah. Now, this channel is specifically for people who are prone to put their feet in their dishes, dunk a toe or two, you know. It's just for one of those people, okay? If you cannot relate, well, guess what? I'm here to help you with your thing. You are one of them if you're watching the channel. <laughs> Got that ass. <laughs> well, today's the last free bag of Queen Drip being made in history. Now, it's been a long time coming, and if you are new to the channel, you may know that I've been using my own spices in my videos. You know, things that y'all can use in your day-to-day -day that's magically delicious. And I created a product where I'm like, <laughs> I got you, baby. Don't have to worry about putting the whole kitchen cabinet in there. I got you. Now, Queen Drip is my little baby. I've had her in development for about two years just getting the flavor together first then getting the label together which looks something like this <laughs> here we are i've been giving out queen drip og for the longest and folks have been asking when can i buy it how can i buy it where can i buy it well baby when you get your stuff llc when you get yourself insured and when you up here get yourself trademarked then we can start going into bigger better things but unfortunately see what had happened was i was supposed to get the kitchen permit and i couldn't get the kitchen permit because every time i was trying to get the kitchen permit like my ceiling started leaking and with my ceiling leaking it would like get patched up and then we would have spaces but then like if you want to be an actual business that like, run about your house you want to like actually have all the credentials for you like not to get sick you need to make sure that like that's not a possibility but as of right now like i can make free stuff because there ain't no actual water dripping and because i am insured see what happened with that is it's like I don't have to worry about such things for a product that's for free and um, I'm not worried about it because again, no drip drips is coming out the ceiling as we speak. But selling Queen Drip is a multiple feeded task because for food products, you have to have a whole bunch of stuff up to cold. Make sure you ain't poisoning nobody. Make sure there ain't no bullshit getting spread around. I.e. this is the last free bags because I want to be able to take Queen Drip to a different level and upscale her to be like, oh, that's what you have been making. So without further ado, I'm going to be telling you the story, though I guess the becoming of Queen Drip while I make the last bag of Queen Drip. Let's get into it. Go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already. And uh, I guess we're about to drip on them. Okay, I hope you brought your galoshes, okay? okay in honor to commemorate the last free bag of Queen Drip, we're gonna tell the story of Queen Drip. And it all started here in a watermelon bucket. Every chef has their notebook, okay? Now my notebook just happens to be a watermelon. Don't judge it. And I'm literally pulling the very first recipe for Queen Drip. I guess this would be the drip that started the drippage. It's kind of surreal because I made the very first Queen Drip in 2019, way before we knew what the world was going to be like in 2020. So I'm looking down at the ingredients and I'm like, oh my God, I really look like, let me just throw it together and put it in a bowl and let's see what it does. Cause I would find myself, whenever I would be cooking y'all, I would be having moments where I would be pulling everything I use out of the cabinet every time I cook as my all purpose seasoning. And then adding, you know, whatever like 
genre spices I needed to. If I really wanted to like make a quick meal, I could use my all-purpose seasoning. So every day I would be doing stuff like that where it was definitely, okay, this is my set go-to spice. And at the end of that period, I think I was talking to Boss and Bossy and I was like, I want to be able to like put my my spices, my flavors together because everybody always loves my food. Like, and she was like, "Well, you should make your spice, but go ahead and go a little bit more in depth into some of the places that you've been. You know, culturally, you've been able to have access to foods that most people have had at." at your age. And I'm like, cool, yes, I did. And the, the truth is, what makes Kumi Drip unique is the 100% standalone unique flavors in Pan-African and Asian concepts. It's just like, when you're a child that is a military brat and you get bored easily, you wanna have something where you are able to scavenge myself and go off like bases and see whatever the local flavors were up to. And it would be like really cool because first I was a little deviant. Second off, I would really get to experience umami in a different way because it seemed like every culture has their own umami concept. I really faced back into my childhood and I thought about all the flavors I was blessed to be able to have in my lifespan. And I thought about my time in the South. I thought about my time and the west coast i thought about my time in japan like i really sat down here and was like cool and even the midwest was highly influential in making queen drip and people would not think about that but y'all don't get how salt and pepper be used you know what i'm saying like salt and pepper is a cultivator of the midwest because you have onions you have corn you have fresh vegetables that you're adding to create different nuances of flavors. So some people do use salt and pepper as a crush. And yes, I do be putting salt and pepper in Queen Drip because if you don't have the yin yang twins, the first ones to set it off, what would you do with your flavor concepts in the first place? Like I said, when it comes to, you know, me thinking about exactly where I've been and what I've been through, I was like, I really am going to take time to think this over. So folks often ask me like, did you come up with Kumi Drip because, you know, you miss Asia? No, I came up with Kumi Drip because there is an awakening need for us to have a spice in our community where black folks can be able to be like, okay, damn, I got the umami. I don't need to add so much MSG if I don't want to. I got the tumor so I don't have to worry about inflammation and I have the black paper to make sure that the turmeric is actually hitting where it needs to go and then i got ginger out here to make sure i have a couple of vitamins and things to make it do what it do right here. go ahead and open up your palate um nom 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 that queen drip definitely gives you the um nom nom noms meaning you will come back and season with it every time you use it and you go on dog on there and try to abuse it because it's that dog on delicious Folks don't ever get to have that type of seasoning anymore. You know what type of seasoning be up in people's cabinet. The top five. You know, we got the America's favorite L word seasoning. Then we got the Tony's or Slap Your Mama. Then we got the garlic salt L word seasoning. And then last but not least, you got your Nene Tony. And they be saying that's what they use for everything. And I'm like, unacceptable. We just needed to have a seasoning that had our best interest in mind. When it comes to black people, we are flavorful, we are delicious. We are essentially nutritious. So why not be able to get our flavors up in a bottle and dubiously and share it with the rest of the world to spread positivity. Your girl just came up with the solution. Queen Drip is here for you to be mooching. Now I'm done rhyming for a second. I'm gonna make another batch of Queen Drip right back.
All right, y'all. So this is the last free bag of food drip. Yes, it's half a bag, but it's a whole bunch of dreams. Every spice, every ingredient that I put into Clean Your Drip is from my heart, from your own site research, on the ground research. You out here having me go through up to different states to get to another country and then come back to you to the lovely flavors that we have in this bag right now. Queen of Drift is gonna go places and it's gonna be featured in my video all the time. Be looking out for it because one day, before you know it, you'll be able to purchase Queen of Drift too. Okay, boo. All right, it's your girl Queen Jones letting you know that I got the drip on me. My hands getting a little slippery, so you know I'm about to go ahead and slide this to you. You heard me. Bye! The last bag of freeness. Let you know I got the ingredients. Let you know Queenie Drip is in business. Check two, two, one, two.